Every image and texture in a video game has to be stored in a file. For years, developers have faced a trade-off. Shrink those files to save memory and improve performance, and you get ugly, blocky graphics. To solve that problem, Intel and AMD have re-architected the digital image itself. Their new method, called ImageGS, shatters the decades-old compromise between quality and file size, a breakthrough that could completely change how games look and run. To really get why this is a breakthrough, we need to break down the two key advantages of ImageGS, its performance and its image quality. First is performance, which is critical for real-time graphics. The image GS format was designed for extreme efficiency on a GPU, requiring only 0.3k operations to decode a single pixel. To put that in perspective, that is an order of magnitude more efficient than competing neural methods. Second is image quality under heavy compression. In a direct comparison at the same tiny file size, an image GS file maintained a quality score of 30.41 decibels. A standard JPEG by contrast, degraded to just 25.43 decibels, which represents a significant and clearly visible loss of detail and an increase in artifacts. So how does ImageGS achieve this leap in quality and performance? It does it by throwing out the 50-year-old concept of the pixel grid. Instead of a grid of squares, ImageGS represents an image as a collection of thousands of tiny mathematical shapes called 2D Gaussians. Each Gaussian is like a smart elliptical splat defined by its exact position, shape, rotation, and color. But the clever part is how it places these splats. The process is content adaptive. The system first analyzes the image to find areas with high detail by measuring local image gradients. It then intelligently places more and smaller Gaussians in these high detail areas, like the edge of a character, and uses fewer, larger Gaussians for smooth areas, like a clear sky. This is a fundamentally more efficient way to store visual information. This process also provides another huge advantage for graphics developers. Because the system builds the image by progressively adding more Gaussians to refine details, it naturally creates a smooth level of detail, or LOD, hierarchy from a single file, without any extra overhead. This allows a game engine to easily use fewer Gaussians for a distant object and a full set for a close-up, all from one asset. Beyond its immediate impact on gaming graphics, the most revolutionary application of ImageGS is for the future of AI and machine vision. Standard compression formats like JPEG are dumb. They don't understand the content of an image, so they might blur a tiny but important detail, making the file useless for an AI. ImageGS solves this with semantics-aware compression. You can guide the system with an AI, telling it to focus its limited budget of Gaussians on the parts of an image that are semantically important, like a person's face or a piece of text. To prove this, they ran a test where an AI model was asked 20 questions about a heavily compressed image. When the image was saved with ImageGS, the AI got 12 questions right, but with a standard JPEG of the same size, it only got 4 right. But this doesn't mean you'll see ImageGS on your phone's camera tomorrow, because it has a specific weakness. Because it's designed to save space on smooth areas, it struggles with complex natural photos that have fine uniform detail or noise across the entire image. Its real strength is in images that have that perfect mix of simple and complex parts, like the graphic art and the game textures it was designed to revolutionize.